Hi, everybody. This is Virginia Milner coming to you for the DeKalb County uh, um, Library. I don't know why I trip up on that every time. But anyway, I had mentioned last time that I wanted to do a bracelet out of clasps. We've done an S clasp um, necklace chain. So I thought I would do something that was a little bit more ornate. And in our last video, I showed you a lot of different types of um, very decorative clasps, clasps that you could make. And I said I had so many of, of some of them that I thought I'd make a bracelet out of it. And I did. So <laughs> I thought what I would do is show you how to make your very own um, raft bead clasp bracelet. And the really neat part of this is that there you don't have to make a clasp because it's all clasps and they are so pretty so i thought i'd show you how to do that um i have a green one here too this is where i started i i did this one on purpose the other ones came from all of the different clasps that i had made um, and i just put them all together so i want to show you how to do that because it's so easy so simple something you can do very quickly and it goes really fall uh, pretty with the fall scene right now uh, depending on what you make them out of and i had done something different uh, the two that i've made have both been out of copper but i thought well why stick with one thing one one little medium so what i'm doing today is showing you one that i'm, I'm making out of um, alternating colors i'm going to use silver 20 gauge wire and um, which is just um, raw silver and bare silver and um, bare copper. So I'm gonna have two tones of wire. Um, the uh, one basic color that's gonna hold it together is the jump rings that are gonna be silver. And then I'm doing two colors of beads instead of multicolored like this or single colored like this, I'm gonna stick with um, scarlet and turquoise. And I'm going to stick with two different types of beads, um, seed beads and um, six millimeter uh, crystal rondelles. So I'm just mixing it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you that because I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to get started on it. So the first thing that we're going to do is get our pliers. We're going to need square nose pliers, round nose pliers, and um, just plain cutters. That's just our standard supplies that we use all the time, so no problem there. So what we're going to do first is cut our wire. Um, I'm going to start with 20 gauge silver, and if you're doing a seed bead, which is what this is right here, you'll need about four and a half well, I'm saying four and a half inches of wire, you can cut off what you don't need, but it takes about four and a half inches of wire. And if you're doing the crystal, since it's six millimeter, the, the, the seed bead is about four millimeters. The crystal is four by six. So you, you have to take into consideration the circumference of your bead. Uh, for the four by six, I'm going with uh, five and a half inches of wire for the seed bead i'm going with four and a half inches of wire it can be anywhere from four to six um four to five for the seed bead and five to six for the crystal it just depends on how much wrap you want around your bead and how big you want it to be so that's entirely uh, that's a uh, artistic preference there so I'm going to cut my wire. I've got one that's four inches here. I had to do that one, but I've already got this four and a half inches measured out. So we'll do that for my seed bead. And what I'm going to do is put my glasses on so I can see first of all. So I'm going to take my seed bead and I'm going to feed it onto the wire right down to the center. So then I'm going to take one end of my wire. I'm going to bring that end over to the other side and wrap it around the bead all the way around and bring it back to the side it started on so there's that and then i'm going to take the other side and i'm going to wrap it around now make sure that you're wrapping it around the same direction for me 
it's uh, right to left. I'm not sure how it's coming out on the camera, but if you start out right to left with one, then you're gonna follow with on the other side with right to left. And you're gonna be tempted to go in the opposite direction because that's uh, usually what you do when you're doing um, some wrapping on both sides. But you wanna go the same direction with both wires and it's gonna feel weird at first, but just uh, be patient and you'll see what happens because what's going to happen is I'm going to wrap it around all the way around the bead until I get to the other side again, back where I started. And now I have a little S shape. It's kind of an S around my bead. So you can see that. There we go. And now I'm going to continue to wrap. I'm just going to keep wrapping and the wires are going to just chase each other around the bead. And you just want the wires to wrap on top of each other or around each other, I guess I should say. You don't want it to bunch up. And you're going to keep wrapping until you have about an inch of wire left on each side. Okay, so there we go. And it looks like one is a little longer than the other. So I'm going to take them down to the same length. But there's my wrap around the center. I think I can take it a little further. Myself a little more wrap there. Yeah. Okay, and then this side looks a little shorter. Let's see, we've got an inch there, and this side looks like it's about a tiny bit more than an inch. So I'm going to cut them down so that they match. Now, when you make your shepherd's hook on each side, you want to make sure that it's following the direction of your wrap. So, what I'm going to do is curve it a little bit so I know which way my shepherd's hook is going to go. So this is going to uh, go this way, and this one is going to go this way. So it looks like a little wave I've got going on there. And I still think this one's a little longer, so let me measure that out again. Just a teeny tiny bit. I'm going to clip off the edge and I'm going to make a tiny loop. Just grab the tip of my wire with the tip of my pliers and make a tiny loop. I'm only going to go three quarters of the way around and I'm going to squeeze the loop together with my pliers so I have the tiniest loop I can get. I'm going to go back here to the back of my pliers with my wire, like so. And I'm going to wrap the wire around until the wire touches the tip of my loop, like so. So now I have a little shepherd's hook. See that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, make a tiny loop. Just wrap it closed around, wrap your loop about three quarters of the way around and squish it closed with your pliers. Get the tiniest little nub of a loop possible. Go down about almost to the back of my pliers. Wrap the wire around until it touches my loop. And I have a clasp. So there's my clasp, my first clasp. And I'm going to go on to the next one. So for this one, I'm going to do a bead, a four by six millimeters. So I'm going to give myself 
about five and a half inches of wire. That, okay, measure that out. Okay, and again, it just depends on how much wrapping you want and how big you want your clasp to be. That will determine how much wire you use. So you just want to kind of play with it. Okay, so I'm going to bring my bead down to the center of the wire. Again, bring one end over to meet the other wire and then wrap it all the way around my bead. Now, get around there. Okay, until I'm back where I started. Okay, so there's my first wrap. Then I'm going to follow that around with the other wire. All the way around, back where I started. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping. It's like one wire is chasing the other one. Just keep on wrapping until I get it down to about an inch. And again, you're wrapping the wire around itself. You don't want it to um, be one wire to be behind the other. You want them to be on top of the other because you're building the wire up into a nice circular wrap. I keep going until I have my inch of wire. Almost there. Let's see. That looks like a little teeny tiny bit more than an inch, give it another tweak. And I think we're good. And there's my wrap. Following the direction of my wrap, I'm going to come up, curve it down into a little swirl. Same on the other side. Going up, curve it until I have my little wave there. Measure this one, it's a little long. Tiny bit longer than an inch. Clip that off. So I've got it down to the same size as the other one. Yeah. A little bit more. Tiny bit. And let's make our shepherd's hook. So this loop is facing up. The first tiny loop is going to be rolling in the opposite direction of the way I've got it swirled. I just do that to kind of remind myself very quickly which direction to go, then I don't have to think about it. Okay, make my three quarter loop. Squeeze it the rest of the way closed. And you can squeeze this with your flat nose pliers. I said you need flat nose. You can use them, but you don't have to use them. It's easier for some people to squeeze that loop with their flat pliers, but it, you can use the round nose pliers as well. Okay, and there's my shepherd's hook. Do that again on the other side. Again, going in the opposite direction of my little swoop. Make my tiny, tiny loop on the end. Three quarters of the way around. Squish it closed with my pliers. Round nose, flat, flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, it's up to you if you want to switch. Okay, slide my wire down to about the base of my pliers. Wrap my wire around until it taps my loop. And there is my other clasp. Now, I've got the others made. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and put this together. So here we are. 
Here are my copper ones, here are my silver ones. So I'm gonna get to work. Here are my jump rings. I'm using six millimeter closed jump rings, but you can actually make your own jump rings if you want or make your own split rings, depending on what size you want your, your bracelet to be. So how do we hook this all together? Easy peasy. You take one of your, one of your shepherd's hooks, you slide it over your jump ring, just like you would if you were clasping a bracelet. Go on to your next one. I think I'm gonna use a, a red one this time because this one's turquoise. I'm just gonna link that in, the same jump ring. Okay, and let's go to another red one. I mean, another turquoise one. This time I'll use the oops, silver jump ring first. Turquoise seed bead. And the next one, let's go with a red for the next one after that. So put on my jump ring. Oops. And slide on my red. Not there. Let's go this way. It's prettier. Which side? Oh, it doesn't really matter. They're both pretty. I really like this because you can kind of open and close these little these little hooks. Okay, put on my next jump ring. Okay, what's next? Let's go with a turquoise. Crystal, slide that on. Another jump ring. And let's go with a red seed bead. And my jump ring. Oh no, that's silver. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, let's go over here. Nope, silver. Silver, copper. I'm supposed to be alternating. Not that I have to, but I want to. So let's take this one off. Put the red silver on. See, if you'd been there, you could have caught that and told me you're doing that wrong, but you're not here. So I have to make my own mistakes. Okay. Okay, let's go with silver, jump ring. Oops, sorry, there's my phone. And, oh, you know what? Because I have so many one, two, three, one, two, three, four of those, that's why. I have four of one and three of the other. So it's gonna, one of them's gonna double up, but that's okay. Where do I want to go here? Red. Red. Huh. Okay, well, let's just go with silver and turquoise. I have top copper and turquoise. We'll go to silver and turquoise. And again, artistic preference as to what you want. And what's really neat about this is that you can take it apart and do it again if you want to. Okay, so let's go with silver with the turquoise and copper with the red. And this jump ring is on here. Copper, turquoise, silver, red. 
Now we're cooking. And here we have it. Put my jump ring on. We'll link them all together. I have two coppers together, but that's okay. And there is my bracelet. That's so awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So there we have it. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Nice um, clasp bracelet. Takes no time at all. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know whether you did or not. And we'll see you next time. And we will see you next week when we bring you another video. And I just enjoyed this immensely. <laughs> I hope you did too. But anyway, here's my one. Here's the one we just did today. Kind of awesome. And there's my green one. So I'm going to have fun with these. Please show me what you do, what you make. And um, just let me know whether or not you enjoyed this because I, I had a lot of fun with this. Really easy to do. So let me know if you liked it. And if you have any other suggestions for other videos, please let me know about that too. Okay. Bye-bye.